Hey guys, this is John T. I'm back with the news ready. It's uh, almost not a news ready, it's just a small article that I want to talk about today uh, because this is something that I wanted to take guidance on as well when I started thinking about playing some Netflix games. Now, uh, once you talk about Netflix getting gaming, that's actually a very good thing. And uh, Netflix is putting up a lot of efforts or some efforts in that regards as well. So it's not as easy as somebody would be thinking while thinking about Netflix that, okay, so since I already have the app, so I can just go ahead and play the games if they're available inside the app in my TV screen or whatever, right? So it doesn't really work like that. What you have to do is um, once you go into the Netflix um, interface, um, and if you find any games that you like it's just like a link to that game that takes you over to your android or iphone store so once you go there then you have to download that game separately it's just like going into another website using a link uh, based on one website so even though they're gonna have some credentials matching after you download the game because the game is linked to netflix here so you need to have a active Netflix account to work on that game as well play that game but the way it's gonna happen is that you have to go to the Apple Store or Google Play Store download the game then the system is gonna re-verify if you're logged into the Netflix interface as well and then after that you should be able to play that game so it's not as simple as simply clicking on the game in your Netflix application just like watching a video or a movie they don't work like that it's just links to those games for the downloads then you have to download that and then play in your proper iPhone or Android or whatever compatible device that you have so a game page will now display you can check out summary player modes age rating and watch some trailers get the idea of the game then after that you have to install it just like you do a regular game so this is I think where Netflix is failing a little bit because they need to make the game available on their own interface so this is something that they're not actually doing so playing netflix games on the smart tv make sure you have smart tv with casting support for standards like airplay so again it has to work with your phone as well then after that you can cast it on your phone it's not like working within the same window where you just click on the link of the movie that you normally watch and then you can play it it's not like that so if it were like that, that's going to be good, but no, not not at the moment. So you need to do different other settings now to play these games, which is a big hazard. I, I think what Netflix can do is they can create a separate application maybe if they're finding it a little bit difficult to um, integrate the gaming um, version of Netflix as well into the TV with the TV and the movies they can probably create a new application that can just work with the games as well but then again they, they might actually have to compete with Google Play Store or Apple Store and they might not be wanting to do that so it's just like a jumble of things at the moment which is not nice maybe in the future they can fix it up as well but this is the case right now with Netflix if you want to play those games and good luck. Uh, now, according to this article, it's easy, but it does say 10 minutes. So you do have to go through different hoops and loops in order to understand how you have to do it. And then you can play. It's not like a console or any other thing where you just click on the game and it starts working. So anyway, this is it for now. You have a nice day. Thank you for listening and watching.